How to make vector brushstroke lettering in today's Illustrator tutorial with Tutorial Graphics. How's it going people? Welcome back to Tutorial Graphics, home of graphic design content. Today, I have another subscriber suggestion that is based around making a kind of watercolor brushstroke effect in Illustrator. I decided to go with some lettering that resembles a brush stroke, so let's jump right into this tutorial. Here's the font that I'm using and there's a download in the description below for it. Also in the description are these vectors which we're going to be using for this Illustrator tutorial. First, make sure you create the outlines of your lettering and then ungroup the selection in case you wish to edit each individual letter. After you've downloaded the vectors and opened them up in Illustrator, you will most likely need to ungroup them too. Then select one and hit Command C or Control C on the PC to copy it. And then paste it back into your document with Command or Control V. We will first use this to cut into our lettering. The aim here is to make the lettering seem like a brush stroke effect. Resize and move it ideally so. We're going to be using the Pathfinder window a lot in this tutorial, so go ahead and open it. Once happy, hold down shift to select both the vector and the letter, and in the Pathfinder window, select the minus front option. As you can see, it has cut into the lettering like we want to do. Cutting into the lettering is one technique, the other is adding to it. If you want to modify the vector, I suggest holding down Alt and duplicating it like so and then editing the copied version. I use the eraser tool here to cut a part that I want to use. And then I ungroup it to leave the selection separate. Then you copy that over to your document. Like before, move and resize the vector in place and instead of using the minus front option, use the unite option instead to attach it to the lettering. Using these two techniques, you can build up your lettering so that it resembles a brushstroke effect. Just be creative and take your time. A quick tip for you guys. Here I have a section that I want to cut into the letter, so I would hold down shift and select both of them. But then when I use the Pathfinder tool, this happens. If this happens to you at any stage in the design, hit Command Z to go back and then select only the letter itself and go up to ungroup. Now when you try it again, it should work just fine. So here's my vector brushstroke lettering. It did take quite a while, but it's worth it. Select all of your brushstroke lettering and then unite it in the Pathfinder window. Then open up the swatch library and access the desaturated color section. We want a pale kind of colour that resembles watercolour. I've chosen this pale blue here, but you can choose whatever you want for your lettering. Now we need to lock up the brushstroke lettering layer so it doesn't move around. Then choose a darker shade of the same colour you used before, as we're going to start now adding in shadow to really set off the lettering style. Grab another vector and copy it over. Like before, I'm going to use the eraser tool to cut part of it out that I want to use. Then I'm going to place it below the cross section of the T. Once in place, you can use the pen tool to add a shape like I'm doing here. The trick is to again build up your design with multiple vectors with a darker shade of the colour where shadow would normally appear. Use the Pathfinder techniques of cutting and adding as we did before. So 
So here's my final design, and it's pretty rushed, I must admit. I don't have much time right now, but I'm sure you guys could do much better than I've done here. I just wanted to show you the technique in an easy to learn manner. So have some fun with it and be creative. Did you find my illustrated tutorial on how to make brushstroke lettering helpful? Let me know if you did in the comment section below and leave a like on your way out. Make sure to have a great weekend and until next time, design your future today. Peace.